Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Montague. I'm Bill Montague, gonna get right into it, yeah. The thing everyone, everybody is talking about today, eh? World Junior Selection Camp. How dare, how dare the executives of Hockey Canada not invite Matt Murray and Darnell Nurse. Shame on them. Absolutely, you know, uh, uh, um, unfair that those two kids would not get an invite. Yeah, that's what everyone's talking about, okay? But come on, people. Come on now. Some of you are friends of mine, and I got some of your texts yesterday that said, oh, Bill, this is highway robbery. Unfair, Bill. How dare they? This is BS. It's not BS, people. Okay, come on. Let's stop with the sour grapes, okay? Let, let, let's cut it out. Let's stop with the sour grapes. Darnell Nurse and Matt Murray. Get them up. Come on, get, get, get them up there. There, there, there you go. Have a look at Darnell. Listen, these guys are hell of a hockey players, okay? They are good hockey players, but we live in Canada, people. 25 players, that's all that were selected. 25 players. Picture, think about it. Use your noggin. Think about how many great players were left off that roster. They only picked 25 people. Only two goalies. Jake Patterson from Saginaw, a hell of a goaltender. Could Matt Murray have been selected? Yeah, sure, they could have selected three or four. I don't know their reasoning to only pick 25 guys this year. They could have tried three or four goalies, then maybe Murray gets his pick. But listen, Matt Murray, an unbelievable year. He really leads the OHL in almost every category, but Jake Patterson is one hell of a goaltender, and the only other guy picked some guy from the Quebec League, okay? That's it. So there's no shame in not being one of only two goalies in the whole country selected. And Darnell Nurse, look, he's a hell of a player. Does he deserve to be there? I don't know. He's a good player. Come on, you know it and I know it, but is he one of the very top top eight or so players in the entire country when it comes to defense? Come on. Trevor Daly took him, I think, his fourth year before he got invited to that camp. And no disrespect to Darnell. Kid's a great player. I love his heart. I love his intensity. Trevor Daly was a hell of a defenseman. Yeah, we haven't had a defenseman here that could skate like Trevor Daly in a long time. How about Ryan Sproul last year? 19 years old before he finally got an invite. He was CHL Defenseman of the Year. So come on, let's knock it off people saying that these guys got burned, they got robbed. Oh, it's a bunch of bull crap. Okay, it's not. It's not. That's a tough job and only the elite of the elite gets selected. Now, now that they're not picked, here's what I hope. Yeah, here's what I hope. They say that they're going to use this as a motivational tool. Yeah, that's what they say. I always, you know, that I always find that funny when, when people say that because shouldn't you be motivated all the time? Shouldn't you be motivated every time you go out on that ice? Shouldn't you be trying your best? So how much better can you try? You go out, you do your best. But I understand it. It is a cliche. Of course, now you want to stick it to Hockey Canada. Hopefully those guys will. Hopefully they will, and I understand it, okay? But I hope that this does not have a negative effect. Two signed players, NHL, both signed. One guy's gone next year for sure, Darnell Nurse, we're not sure of. Let's hope that their heart stays right in here. Let's hope that their heart, their attitude, that they continue to play with the intensity that they, that they have displayed so far and that they don't mope. You know, they don't mope because of this decision. Because we know that both of them would have played their best hockey up to this date with the goal and the dream of getting invited. Now that that hasn't happened, fellas, do not let that have a negative uh, uh, effect. You prove to people that you are character individuals, and I believe both of you are. You go out, you work your ass off, and you help lead the Sioux Greyhound team into the playoffs, and let's hope for once, pass the first round. Well, 
That's it for this edition, Tuesdays with Montague. I'm Bill Montague. I'll see you again next week.